All right, now to our roundup of viewer questions with our Dr. Jen Ashton. And these are the topics you've been asking about, and here's your answer right here. All right, first question, Dr. Jen. My sister has severe immunosuppressed condition. Will the vaccine be less effective? This is a great question, and they don't really know right now. If you look at uh, the National Academy of Rheumatology, it covers autoimmune diseases, they really don't have the data yet. There is a theory that perhaps people with a compromised immune system may produce what's called a blunted response to these vaccines. So instead of mounting higher antibody protection levels, it might be somewhat lower at this point. The bottom line is that the benefits of getting vaccinated outweigh any potential risks at this point. But anyone with a compromised immune system, autoimmune, HIV, cancer, transplant, to name just a few, should talk to their physician about this vaccine because it's very early on, but there are some real risks to not getting vaccinated. All right, question number two here, vaccine options available for pets. This Are is super any? interesting, you guys. Remember, <laughs> again, coronavirus 101. This is a virus that the family is known to infect animals. There already are canine coronavirus vaccines. Uh, coronavirus, when our doggies, our fur babies get it, tends mm -hmm. to be a gastrointestinal illness and virus, not an upper respiratory one. Not all dogs are recommended to get this canine coronavirus vaccine, but people should ask their veterinarian because oh. um, if they're in certain high risk populations, then <laughs> they are available. And just by the way, FYI, fun fact, every human doctor generally believes, and I do believe this myself, that veterinarians are globally smarter right. than human doctors. Wow. Way harder to get into veterinary school. Wow. All right. That's a fun fact. All right. Uh, <laughs> next question. I've been told I'm anemic. Does that just mean I need more iron? Not necessarily. So anemia 101 here. First of all, you want to ask about two numbers. They both start with H, your hematocrit, your hemoglobin. One basically reflects the other. Um, that gives you a degree of how many red blood cells you have. And then when you talk about anemia, it's a question of is it due to loss of blood or inadequate production of red blood cells? Then you look at iron studies so a general health care provider can do the basic workup if you are chronically anemic then potentially you should see a hematologist or a specialist you really the key is finding out why I, what I think, think I know that look you said anemia 101 and you said about 12 words I've never <laughs> heard before and I, I we tried to follow that, but please don't let of, there be a pop that's quiz. kind of like the the basic okay. medical school <laughs> lecture on anemia okay now you know that's what that look was wasn't it Robes? It was, yes. Okay. I'm like, are you following this? Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, you can submit your questions to Dr. Jen on our Instagram at Dr. J. Ashton. Always learning from you, Jen. <laughs> well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching. And we'll see you in the morning on GMA.